Welcome to Spotlight. I'm Colin Lowther. And I'm Katie Blake. Spotlight uses a special English method of broadcasting. It is easier for people to understand no matter where in the world they live. During World War II, American and British forces bombed the city of Dresden, Germany. More than 22,000 people died in this terrible act of war. The bombs also destroyed many works of art, literature and music. A short time after the war, a musician named Remo Giazzotto was in Dresden. He was looking through the remains of old buildings. He found some pieces of paper with notes on them. They were directions for playing music. Giazzotto believed it was music by the famous 18th century musician Albinoni. But Giazzotto only found part of the music, so he looked at the rest of Albinoni's musical pieces. He used these to complete the piece of music he found. Most experts think that Giazzotto wrote the music himself, but people still call the music Albinoni's Adagio. This song became a symbol. It shows that beauty can survive through conflict and war. Albinoni's Adagio became even more famous during another war. In 1992, enemies surrounded the European city of Sarajevo. A musician named Vedran Smilovich played Albinoni's Adagio in the street. He played often, even though it was very dangerous. Today's spotlight is on the actions and influence of the cellist Vedran Smilovich. In the 1990s, the former country of Yugoslavia experienced a terrible conflict. Different ethnic groups in the country fought each other for control. For more than three and a half years, the city of Sarajevo was under siege. Enemy soldiers completely surrounded the city. They blocked important supplies coming in. Citizens could not leave Sarajevo. It was the longest siege in the history of modern war. Thousands of people died during the siege of Sarajevo. They could not get enough food or medical care. Many people were also killed by snipers. Sniper soldiers with guns hid in buildings. They shot people from far away, including children. Bombs also destroyed people's homes and city hospitals. And, like Dresden, Sarajevo lost a lot of important cultural property. Before the siege, Sarajevo had many wonderful artists and musicians. One important musician was named Vedran Smilovich. He played a large stringed instrument called the cello. 
when the siege began, Smilovich was hopeful about peace. He did not believe that the siege would last a long time. But on May 27, 1992, something changed him. It was difficult to find food in Sarajevo at this time. One morning, many people stood in a long line. They were waiting for fresh bread at one of the last working bakeries. Suddenly, soldiers fired a bomb into the middle of the line. It killed 22 people and injured many others. After this tragic event, Vedran Smilovich decided to use his cello to protest the war. Smilovich held the large cello between his knees. With one hand, he pressed four long strings. Smilovich's other hand pulled a long straight bow over the strings. He played beautiful music in the middle of the war. The song he played was Albinoni's Adagio. Smilovich played this song every day for 22 days. Each day represented one person who was killed at the bakery. Albinoni's Adagio was a fitting piece of music to play. The history of the song was like Smilovich's act. It presented something beautiful in the middle of death and destruction. It was a song of hope. Every day, Smilovich chose a different place to play. He played in the middle of a street, or in a ruined home, or a bombed building. He even dressed up in a formal suit. This was the same suit that he used to wear to play for famous people. Smilovich talked to a BBC reporter, Malcolm Brabant. He told Brabant that he wanted to make the world remember these people. I play for the dead people. They are my friends. It is in my city, in my street, it is in my country. I play for my dead friends, and I play for the future, for a better future. It will be, I'm sure. Smilovich did not stop playing his cello after his 22-day protest. He would often play at funerals. In August of 1992, bombs completely destroyed the National and University Library of Bosnia and Herzegovina. This library was the centre of knowledge and culture for the whole area. Smilovich also played his cello in the remains of the destroyed library. In 1993, Smilovich escaped from Sarajevo, but his courage gave many people hope. David Wilde is an English musician. He wrote a song for the cello called Cellist of Sarajevo. The song was about Smilovich. In 1994, the world-famous cellist Yo-Yo Ma 
performed this song. He played it at the International Cello Festival in England. When Yo-Yo Ma finished playing, he remained bowed over his instrument. The whole room was very quiet. Then Yo-Yo Ma stood up and raised his hand. To everyone's surprise, Vedran Smilovich walked forward. He had been watching the performance. Musician Paul Sullivan was there. He described it later in Hope magazine. The emotion was unbelievable. Everyone jumped to their feet cheering loudly, crying, shouting and putting their arms around each other. It carried us away in a huge wave of emotion, and in the centre of it stood these two men holding each other, both crying freely. Vedran Smilovich's example continues to give people courage in times of war and conflict. In April of 2015, a car bomb killed several people in Baghdad, Iraq. It was 20 years after the siege of Sarajevo. Karim Wasfi is an Iraqi musician. He played his cello at the place of the bombing. We end today's program with Wasfi's moving words. He told the BBC. I want to bring beauty in the life of Iraq now. Music is one of the most important ways to do that. I cannot stop the bombs with my cello, but I will continue to make music to show life is still worth experiencing and living. The writer of this program was Jen Hawkins. The producer was Bruce Gulland. The voices you heard were from the United States and the United Kingdom. All quotes were adapted for this program and voiced by Spotlight. You can listen to this program again and read it on the internet at www.radioenglish.net. This program is called Music in War. Tell us what you think about today's program. You can leave a comment on our website or email us at radio at radioenglish.net and find us on Facebook. Just search for Spotlight Radio. We hope you can join us again for the next Spotlight program. Goodbye.